Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can export ABAP data or in general SAP data into an Excel file automatically via an ABAP program. And therefore, here right now, I'm showing you a sample program to show you ABAP to Excel. Because here right now, you can see all the demo programs of ABAP to Excel. It's an open source tool that you can use in order your handling with SAP and Excel at the same time with ABA programming and therefore I can highly recommend using ABAP to Excel if you have such use cases to export SAP data into Excel and in the video description I will link a couple of videos that might be useful to you because how you can install ABAP to Excel the open source tool how you can install ABAP git that is a prerequisite and needed for ABAP to Excel and how you can automate the SAP data export into Excel via SAP GUI scripting. I've produced a couple of videos to that, but now I would like to show you ABAP to Excel with a use case. So therefore I will close this and first of all we're going into the ABAP editor, so the SE38 transaction and therefore here I would like to create a new program and that I would like to explain and show you how you can use the code uh, or ABAP to Excel within ABAP code. And therefore I just would like to you call it set set underscore SAP to Excel, it doesn't matter, just a sample program that I just click on the create button and now really small titles. So for example, SAP to Excel with ABAP to Excel, then you have to make sure that you select the type executable program or leave the other settings as they are, it's totally fine and then click on the save button. Here right now I would like to just link it to the $TMP package, so my temporary package, so therefore I click on the local object button. And first of all what we have to make sure is that we first of all have to declare a couple of variables that we're using later on. And first of all I would like to declare a, an object and it's uh, Excel and that's uh, kind of like yeah, um, a object of the class uh, set cl underscore Excel and that is an important class uh, in order to use uh, Excel in general, so that is always mandatory and needed. Then what we have to do is we have to declare a new variable, so it's uh, yeah, kind of like converter to use the class C set CL underscore Excel underscore converter because we would like to convert our internal table into yeah, the, the Excel data um, that we can handle on. And then um, in the meantime, I'm, I'm using always the pretty printer with Shift and F1 just to have it formatted uh, nicely. And then here right now, I would like to uh, select the data right now. I would like to transfer later on into the Excel file and therefore just a pure demo um, sample. I would would like to extract um, purchase order data from the SAP table echo and therefore I am using um, a select statement uh, from the table echo and I would like to transfer it into yeah an internal table let's call it LT echo and the work condition is where I my name is the creator of the purchase order um, yeah, so basically uh, where Ernam, the creator, is my SAP user. Um, yeah, of course you can make it more handy. You can just select the columns that you want to, but this is just a sample to show you the ABAP to Excel in a showcase. And, and therefore now we would like to use or we would like to create our uh, object. So therefore uh, we would like to create an instance of uh, of this converter class 
So therefore, yeah, we would now like to create an object. And now what we're gonna do is we would like to convert it. So therefore, yeah, we, uh, we call the method uh, convert. And then we would like to export um, the, the internal table. So in this case, the parameter is it underscore table to this one and we would like to uh, use a changing parameter it's called co underscore excel to the object so that's perfectly fine so to sum it up here right now what we're going to do is we would like to convert our selected data of the table echo into an object to work later on so with the excel so therefore now we just have an object with the data but now we would like to yeah to to put it in the nice shape in the needed shape in the needed form and therefore here right now we need a new variable so an object uh, i just call it this one and yeah we would now get a worksheet and therefore we are calling a method it's called uh, work get active worksheet of the object of the after the conversion so now we have a local object of the worksheet itself and now this is uh, optional i i like to use it because i like to freeze the first row the first header row uh, because if you have multiple uh, rows uh, multiple data that you always see what is the header column and therefore i would like to call a method and that's uh, freeze uh, paints and just uh, use uh, this parameters ip underscore num underscore rows equals to one so that is totally fine and then what we need to have is now we would like to um, yeah basically um, need a so-called writer in order also to convert the data itself to convert um, our our object into an x string so therefore what we now need is a new object i just call it uh, lo underscore excel writer and now i would like to cast it to a to this one and so and yeah basically what i'm now doing uh because here we have a, a class we create a new class and we cast it immediately to the writer to have a writer of excel 2700 to yeah to, to cast and to convert the object to the excel data to the x string quite uh, easily and now what we need is a variable for the data itself so therefore i now um, yeah like to to call a method of this object and that's called write file of uh, excel of this object um, so now what we're going to do is we have our object with the with the data and therefore we're calling a method of the object of the excel writer 2007 um, and uh, writing a file and now we have the data in a x string but in order to use it properly we need to have it as a raw data and therefore once again we would like to uh, declare a new uh, variable i just call it uh, raw data of course it's an internal um, table and now i would like to call a method to convert it properly and that is the parameter and therefore now we have this data in this variable um, yeah this is perfectly fine and here we have the data now in the raw format 
Okay, now what we're gonna have, do is we uh, call a method to basically download the raw data into our Excel file, and therefore I'm calling yeah the um, class CL GUI front end services, and within here the method GUI download to download it properly and now just pure basic coding to download it I would like to yeah to name the file to a, a temporary path so just using uh, ctemp for example export with the ending xls X. that's perfectly fine now as a file type it's binary and as a size here you have to keep in mind to basically um, to, to calculate the length so therefore I'm using X string length of the data to have it properly and now we're using a changing for the data itself okay so now we have uh, downloaded our data and I would like to basically uh, wrap it in a try statement. So I'd like to, to try this one. And if there is any error, um, yeah, kind of like this one, I would like to output the text. Okay, using Pretty Printer. And now, Fox, comes the important part I'm using now the first time the syntax check. So, Control F2, all seems to be fine. And yeah, that is great. So, now what I'm gonna do is that I am running this code the first time. So, hitting F8 key. And now in the background, I can see that the file has been downloaded successfully. And if I open up the path and open the downloaded file, here right now I can see the data. And if I scroll down, then you can see also the freezed first row. And this is a really sample use case how you can extract the data really, really easily. And yeah, this is great. By the way, um, of course, um, this code is not perfectly clean in my opinion because yeah you can you can um, put comments in there of course you can use parameters so don't use the static code and so on but I've also produced an own video about a great tool you should definitely use and that is the ABAP cleaner and here right now I would like to show you the ABAP cleaner so therefore I'm just using control a and control C to copy the code. I'm jumping over to the ABAP cleaner, um, setting the focus into the field using control V to paste in the code. And now if I make it a little bit bigger here right now, you can see a lot of recommendations and improvements. And if I set the focus within here, once again, control A, control C, Jumping over to the code, I have already selected the code, so I'm using Control V, and now I have used a clean code using once again uh, Control F2. Seems all to be fine, and yeah, I will also uh, put the video about the ALAP Clean in the video description. You should definitely use this great tool. But yeah, this is a really, really easy use case how you can extract um, SAP data into Excel automatically. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. If you uh, like this video, please hit the like button and Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to support my work and to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.